Welcome back. My name is Larry. If you're new to the channel, uh, very huge news. I'm so excited about. We'll talk about it here in a couple minutes. But for now, uh, on top of the good news, there's even more good news. I think I stumbled onto like the mother load of cool camping spots. There's nobody here. Um, there's just tons of cool camping, and uh, I I'm just I'm very close to where I was camping last week. I just turned down another little side road near that spot, and um, I don't even know where to stop. There's just so many cool places to camp. Um, and there's, it looks like a bunch of trails too. So I'm hoping that I could maybe bring the geo tracker back here and do a little bit more exploring and find like some really, really epic camping spots. Um, I see a lot of like mining remnants around here. So there's probably some old mines. In fact, where we're at now is so flat. It just seems very intentional. So I'm wondering if there was a mine or something here. Um, I think I'm gonna put Mason on a leash I don't know why I can't say that, Mason on a leash. And then we're gonna just kinda scout around the area nearby, just see what we're camping next to. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get on with the night. <laughs> Bud, you ready to go for a walk? Huh? You wanna go explore? All right, let's go. So there's some sort of concrete foundation right there. Um, you can kinda see camp is right there. So not too far away. And it just seems like there's a lot of flat ground here. Um, it's just not natural, it seems like they, flattened it out for a reason. Um, there's a road right here. I don't know if that goes up to a mine or something. Maybe we'll go up there and check it out. The thing I love about Arizona is it's just, there's so many different landscapes. I mean, there's just dry, kind of barren desert with cactus. And then there's areas like this that are just, I don't know what you'd call this, semi, vegetated <laughs> and then there's spots that are uh, up higher near Flagstaff there's just tall pine trees and big canyons and mountains it's just just a little bit of everything here and uh, a little bit of everything with the weather too if I went an hour south it'd be a lot warmer definitely no snow and if I went an hour north I'd probably get a ton of snow so uh, just a cool state to be in especially for camping Come on, bud. <laughs> He's going so slow. <laughs> He's like, this hill is hard. When I go out on little walks like this, especially if I have Mason, uh, I always have protection. I don't show it online here on YouTube just because they don't really like that. Kind of frown on that. But uh, I get that question a lot, and I definitely... 100% always have something on me. I mean, we just just never know if you walk up on a mountain lion or coyotes or something that, you know, especially with that mason here, uh, it's just better to be safe than sorry. Man, it is windy. It's blowing in all that, that cool weather, I guess. It's snow. Um, we're up here on top of the cliff that's like right behind camp. There's camp again down there right there that's just a drop off probably 60 feet or so straight down staying back i don't want mason getting too close to the edge i got my wind muff on the microphone so you probably can't hear the wind but um it's definitely windy especially up here on this hill i'm kind of glad that i parked down kind of in a little valley so hopefully it won't be as windy we can have a fire tonight but i think i'm gonna get off this hill Starting to get cooler, getting in the evening. Just go explore down by the creek or something. Actually, before I go all the way down this hill, I want to see what this is. Nothing really. Some sort of concrete foundation. Who knows? Stuff like that's all over the place out here in Arizona. Um, which is cool. I mean, that's half the fun of it is just kind of trying to figure out what it is they're building. Um, cause yeah, they just had a lot of spots where they were digging mines and miners cabins and cranes and sluices and just all sorts of stuff that you kind of find out here. Oh, there's something over, something over right there. It's 
sort of concrete foundation thing again. These roads just go all over. Look, there's more flat area down there. This was definitely something. Oh man. I don't know what that is. Uh, kind of, kind of looks like it goes in there like a little mine or cave or something. Come here, bud. Come here. I'm gonna put you over here. Come here. I'm gonna hook him right here on this tree so you can't really get too close. Stay right there, okay, buddy? I don't know what's in here. Could easily be some sort of animal living in there. Definitely goes in. I don't know what this would have been. Hello? Barbed wire. I don't think it goes in any further than that. Stay there, buddy, okay? Nope, that's it. Just goes into that. Huh. That's weird. There's some sort of like a uh, hideout for like dynamite or maybe if they maybe if there's gold mines or silver mines or copper mines maybe that's where they they hit it maybe they were going to start like a mine and then just abandon it before they got too far huh i don't know kind of creepy but kind of glad it doesn't go in there any further i'd be a little you know sketched out sleeping next to that if it went down in there really far Hmm. Look at that right there. Huh. Come here, buddy. Yeah. That looks like a big mine. I just don't know how, if I'm going to be able to get up there. Even if I did, I don't think I'd go in it alone, but... I'd have to climb, climb up that pretty steep hill. Yeah, I don't know if I want to climb up there. Oh, wait, here's a little... Oh, man. It's a little road that kind of goes up this hill here. This is how scary movies start. Hey, bear. Oh, you can feel the cold air coming out. Huh, it goes in there quite a ways. The weird thing is it Weird thing is it goes two different directions as soon as you go in there. Huh. Yeah, I'm not gonna go in, but. Hmm. Yeah, if I was a little more prepared, and had a flashlight, I'd maybe peek in a little ways, but can't do it right now. Made it back to camp. You made it, buddy.
Really wish this wind would die down. So camp's all set up, got me a brewski. Uh, I don't have olives, but I do have a new glass. It's a little small. I need to, I still need to find me a bigger glass. I broke my other one. I've just kind of, I got camp set up. I really am just kind of waiting to see if I can start a fire for this wind to die down. But um, while I'm doing that, I just, I'll tell you the good news, guys. We have finally hit 20,000 subscribers. I don't, hopefully you can hear me. The winds has really picked up all of a sudden. <laughs> Uh, 20,000 subscribers. That's crazy. I never in my life thought I would ever hit 20,000 subscribers. In fact, I remember struggling to get a thousand subscribers. It was so hard. And, uh, I, I learned, I kind of like mentioned it this morning on the Facebook group. And, uh, if you guys are not part of the Facebook group, I'll put what, like the, what the Facebook group is right here. And I'll even put a link down below in the description. Go check it out. I mean, I just couldn't, I, I just, I never thought this day would get here. <laughs> But uh, I'm just excited. I mean, and this this camera spot just suits it. Just perfect camera spot, perfect day. I'm just so excited, guys. Thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> How was your walk, bud? You liked it? And wear your feet out? No. <laughs> Why were you going so slow? <laughs> He loves grass, so it's just, it's rare to find grass. But definitely have a little patch here next to camp. <laughs> you can kind of see, that's not a mountain. That's a front right there, like a weather front. And that's where the cold weather is going to be coming from. So it's right there. It must be coming. Oh, man. Come on, buddy. Let's go. It... <laughs> I wish you guys would have saw that his ears were like flying and his tail was flying from the wind. Come here. Let's go in. Oh, it's cold. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, it's time to go in. This might be one of those inside the camper kind of nights where we're just inside cozy and warm. I'm definitely not going to cook out on the fire. Uh, I have some plans of something that I'm actually looking forward to. I'm going to cook a little chicken, but not like I normally cook it. What? Come on. Let's go. Sheesh. But it's cold. We need some heat, huh? I've been spending time down south and it's always way warmer down there um all right let's get this diesel heater turned on hopefully it works come on heat it's my one and only heat vent right here but it's more than enough to heat this whole place up oh uh i've been testing out this new um thing here so i have nomad internet i've had it for years and uh I love it but this is a battery pack so you got this big old massive battery right here <clears throat> hold on let me <laughs> uh it's got this big huge 60 milliamp battery and uh this gives me internet without being plugged in it's not plugged into the the camp or anything but it gives me internet for a week on this battery and all i do is just carry this bag around I'll throw it in the truck or the camper and it's just the coolest thing um so i've actually been trying to work on a uh, review for this internet but uh the my problem is with reviews this is why i don't do a whole lot of them is because um it's one thing to just give my opinion on it but these reviews i guess i feel like these reviews require you to talk about the product like um the technology they use and you know megabytes millibytes and then c-band technology and all, all the like the the, the nitty-gritty details and uh i just don't i'm not that tech savvy so i always have to like make a script when it comes to those kind of details and i just suck at reading scripts um 
I'm just more just winging it <laughs> with no script is more my style, but, um, I don't know. I've tried to record this review a couple of times. I want to, I want to record it because I believe in the company and, and I've had them for years and they just, they've always offered me great internet service. And, um, but yeah, the reviews are hard. I'm trying to work on them. I'm just going to have to force myself to do them. And eventually with time I'll get better. But, um, anyways, I'll, I'll put, like I said, I'll put a link below in the description if you're interested. Um, yeah, finally it's kicking out some warm air over here. Ah, heat. Heat is neat. So you would think because I full-time RV that I would be sick and tired of sitting outside by the fire and drinking a beer, but, uh, yeah, no, I'm not sick of it. In fact, it's, it just doesn't feel right that I can't go out there. It's just weird to have to sit inside where it's, it's warm. Um, that's why I, I think I would be, it would be hard for me if I lived up North where it was like snowing friggin 11 months out of the year or however often <laughs> it seems to snow up there uh i just don't know if i could do that I, I i much rather prefer like desert where i can get outside um that's one thing with with having a truck camper i mean there's just not a lot of room in here for activities so um it's either sit here or lay on the bed or stand over by the kitchen that's it that's my only options and um I'm tired of sitting here, so I think it's time <laughs> to get into the kitchen and get a little dinner made. Stand up, and now I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> um, we're going to do some chicken thighs, boneless, skinless. Um, I'm just going to fry them in a little bit of oil and a cast iron skillet. And then I have some steam fresh broccoli and cauliflower. I, I don't have the microwave, or I don't have the battery power to microwave this. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to cook these yet, but I'll figure out something. Um, let's get the pan out. Yo, cast iron. Where's my lighter? Huh? Oh, there it is. One of these days I might upgrade to a decent stove with like an electric lighter. Maybe at 40,000 subscribers. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Let's remove this chicken. We'll get this pan heating up. And of course we'll put some grapeseed oil. Um, I don't know if this is the most ideal oil to cook chicken in, but it does have a high heat. Um, I don't know. What is that called? Like flashpoint? It's meant for like higher heating, higher heated cooking. <laughs> well, that's not good. Unless I didn't even turn it on. All right. Is it on? It's on. All right. I guess we finally entered that tank. It only took like a year. So we'll switch this over and turn this tank on. This one's a partial tank, but it should get by through tonight. Oh, it's cold, Wendy. I always, it keeps sounding like there's like people or heavy machinery or something outside. But it's the tree limbs, like the big massive tree limbs. Hold on a second. Old campers got to have two hands to shut the door. Um, yeah, it's like the big tree limbs up here are like knocking together and rubbing together and it just sounds like i don't know somebody's out there but 
Um, that should make for good nightmares later. <laughs> there we go. I usually have some paper plates in here. There's one. Conserve water a little bit. Hopefully this don't get too crazy. Yeah, that's gonna get crazy. Ah. Dry off chicken before dumping it in hot grease. There we go. That's a little better. I still feel like I need protection over here. Oh, that's gonna. This one's gonna pop. Oh no, it's cooled down enough. All right. Oh yeah. That's gonna be good. I can't wait to eat that. Hmm. I just decided I want to microwave these. I don't want to have to fry them in the skillet. So um, I'm just going to use the battery juice off of that. Off this uh, power station. Because this is almost full. It's almost 90%. Shouldn't, shouldn't kill it too much. It's only four and a half minutes. And at least if this dies, then the battery in the RV is not dead. So uh, these things, power stations are awesome. So all I did was just run the cord down, plug it into this, and I have it sitting on the water bottles because the cord only reaches to like right here, and then the plugs would have been down too low if I'd set this down there. That's that's the deal with the water. Um, I need to just get some sort of extension or some way where I can plug this into the microwave easier for, for nights like tonight. chicken smells so good put a little slap your mama on uh, two of the pieces of chicken put them on pretty pretty heavy so they should be spicy but I wanted to keep one not spicy um, this is still doing pretty good we're only down to 82% it's using a thousand sixty nine watts and 20 seconds left it was on for five minutes drop way down must just be cooling down the last 10 seconds sweet she's steamy perfect mm. check that out that chicken turned out pretty good put a little barbecue sauce on it got some cottage cheese Vegetables, of course, turned out perfect because they were steamed in the microwave. But, um, yeah. Let's try this chicken. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, uh, Carl from Alabama sent me a couple things. Um, first of all, he sent this knife it's made by cat and, uh, check this thing out. <laughs> this thing is a monster. It's got, uh, pliers and then big old huge blade on it. We got Phillips head screwdriver, flathead and a I'm guessing like a bottle top opener there. Got a saw on it. That's pretty nice. Appreciate that, Carl. And um, also he sent a couple fishing lures. I don't even know if I could bring them out of the bag, but I'm going to leave them in just because the hooks are super sharp. But uh, hopefully you can see this. 
he hand makes these hand paints them and everything he uses automotive paint and um, that one I guess is supposed to be a frog this is probably a frog too oh man hopefully you can see that let me try taking it out without getting hooked no I don't think it's gonna happen the hooks are like they're really sharp and they're like dug into the bag but uh you kind of maybe see that one too it's another little frog and they're so cool like I almost don't even want to use them for fishing I kind of want to like hang them I don't know like on my rear view mirror or something <laughs> um I'm sure I'll use one at least for fishing but I might I might figure out something else to do with that it's just really cool I've never had like homemade lures before thank you so much for that you hear that wind like it's still pick it's still busy it, I'm having troubles talking tonight I don't know what my problem is <laughs> the wind is still pretty strong um but it's still somewhat early it's only 7 30. hopefully by like nine o'clock it it'll be done Put everything away since we're not gonna fire. Just don't want everything to get snowed on tonight. I love this channel. It's called Randall's Modern Life. Um, it's not a very big channel, but I I don't know. I can't get enough of it. It's pretty good. Anyways, I won't be heading to bed here soon. Um, I wish I could have had a fire tonight, but oh well. <laughs> Hopefully we'll. Wake up and not have too much snow and we can get out of here in the morning, hopefully. Anyways, I'll uh, see you guys in the morning. Good night. Um, it's 2.30 or so in the morning. Uh, it does. Uh... The rain slash snow or whatever's going on outside is like coming down hard. Uh, it's pulling the whole camper around. Good morning. Um, it's about 6.15, 6.20, something like that, whatever. Just early in the morning. Uh, no snow out here, but it definitely rained pretty hard. It's raining right now, actually. I just gotta get out of here early, especially, I think the snow, I, I was re-looking at the weather report, the snow says it's gonna start around eight or nine in the morning, so I think if we get out of here in the next hour or so, we'll be all right. something about rainy mornings just it's so nice um kind of reminds me of like way back in the day when i was in elementary school i just remember like certain mornings when it would rain and you come in it was like dark and gloomy outside and you go in the lights are all like turned on and your friends are there and um i don't know it just seemed like a different type of day you know um maybe that's just me but I don't know why that, that even reminded me of that this morning. I just still can't believe that I get to come out here and stay in spots like this. Ah. <sighs> Thank you.
Let me see some eggs going. I already had the bacon all done. So this is the last thing. Can't beat cheesy eggs. At least I don't have to normally worry about moisture on the windows or moisture inside the camper with being in Arizona. It's so dry. Like, I don't, I don't have to worry about that hardly ever. But, um, obviously in mornings like this, I do. Especially when I'm cooking in here. It's alright though. It'll dry out. All right, I already got stuck once trying to go up this hill. I wasn't in four wheel drive, so it's in four low now. Let's try to get this thing up the hill now. Come on, baby. Oh, it's sliding, oh. Had way too much rain last night. Whew, made it. <laughs> All right, well, back on the road. I'm heading up a little further north. It's Easter Sunday, so I got some family things to attend. But um, thanks for hanging out with me. It's just been so peaceful and relaxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, then I guess until next time, I'll see you guys then. Thanks, bye.